It has been a long day, and your clothes clearly show it. When to change into something comfortable and clean, you realize that the clothes you just took off need a good washing. Unfortunately, there is no washing machine available within a 250-mile radius. Welcome to a typical day on the International Space Station, where these inconveniences are a normal part of life. Although the space station offers improved facilities compared to earlier spacecraft, including the best free gym off the planet, one of the many things it still does not have is a way to wash clothes. So, what can you do with your dirty clothes when you find yourself floating in space, stuck in a spacecraft without a laundry solution? Don't worry, you have four options to consider. Option 1. Wear it again. This is the most common choice. When you're going on a long trip, it's hard to bring enough clothes. But when you're staying on the International Space Station for several months, it's impossible to pack all the underwear you would need. A six-month stay for a three-member ISS expedition crew would require a staggering 540 pairs of underwear. However, launching such a colossal amount into space is simply unfeasible due to the limited cargo capacity and astronomical costs. With each pound costing between $5,000 and $10,000 to launch, even underwear becomes a luxury item worth its weight in gold. So, what's the solution? Astronauts must stretch the lifespan of the underwear they bring with them, ensuring it lasts their entire stay. On the Russian space station Mir, cosmonauts would typically wear their underwear for up to a week before switching to a clean pair. On the International Space Station, things are a bit better. In his captivating series of Space Chronicles, ISS Expedition 6 science officer Don Pettit shared that he changes his underwear approximately every three or four days. Before dismissing this practice as unhygienic, it's important to understand the unique environment of the space station. Clothing doesn't accumulate dirt as rapidly as it does on Earth due to the controlled and comfortable temperature maintained on the station. Additionally, the absence of Earth's gravitational pull eliminates the physical exertion that leads to sweat and odor buildup. Of course, astronauts must still devote significant time each day to exercise, combating the effects of microgravity on their bodies. However, underwear isn't the sole item subjected to extended use. In a fascinating interview, Pettit revealed that he had been wearing the same pair of shorts since his arrival on the station in November, months before the interview. Expedition 6 commander Ken Browersox also has a favorite pair of shorts that he frequently dons. Despite the absence of laundry facilities, Browersox ingeniously devised a method of using a plastic bag to keep his shorts clean. Option 2. Turn it into a shooting star. When the time comes for the crew of the International Space Station ISS, to return to Earth, they usually use the space shuttle as their transportation back home. However, the shuttle has limited space availability for the journey, as it needs to accommodate the crew, their personal belongings, and completed science experiments from the station. Consequently, there isn't much room left to carry several months' worth of dirty underwear. So, what happens to it then? To ensure that the ISS crew has an adequate supply of food, water, and other essentials during their stay in space, the Russian Space Agency launches unmanned spacecraft called Progress ships. The Progress is a non-reusable spacecraft, good for a one-way trip to the space station. Once it is there and the station crew has unloaded the supplies, the Progress is then loaded up with trash, including dirty laundry. Since only a limited number of Progress crafts are sent to ISS each year, the dirty clothes can sit around on the station for a while before they can be disposed of. The Progress is then undocked from the station and deorbited, placed on a course that causes it to burn up in Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. Option 3. Grow plants with it. Science officer Pettit faced a problem when he recently decided to attempt growing tomato and basil seeds aboard the station. He needed to find alternative methods of cultivating the plants due to the absence of soil. In his Space Chronicles, Pettit stated that a spherical core was necessary for constructing his planter. 
he found that an old pair of underwear served this purpose effectively. Considering the ample supplies available on the station, including the ability to change underwear every three to four days, Pettit speculated that there might be some nutrients in them. Consequently, he folded an old pair of underwear into a sphere and secured it using a needle and thread from their sewing kit. To cover the exterior of the planter, he stitched Russian space toilet paper onto the outer surface of the underwear. Pettit described this toilet paper as different from the conventional type, as it consisted of two layers of coarsely woven gauze measuring 4 by 6 inches, with a layer of brown tissue sandwiched in between. It served its intended purpose well, and also proved to be an excellent sprouter. After overcoming the issue of the seeds being too cold to germinate, Pettit witnessed the seeds sprouting in the underwear toilet paper planter within two days. Option 4. Feed it to bacteria. This one isn't really an option right now, but it might be in the future. While the Mir station was still in orbit, Russian scientists were already working on a new solution to the problem of dirty underwear being stored on the station for months at a time. The scientists began designing a system that would use bacteria to digest the astronauts' cotton and paper underpants. The researchers said that it was even possible that the methane gas given off when the bacteria ate the underwear could be used to help power the spacecraft. The system would even be able to be used to dispose of some other waste on the station as well. While the system was never completed for use on Mir, researchers said it could take up to a decade to find the right combination of bacteria. It may be an option for people living in space in the future. Although currently unavailable, the prospect of an intriguing solution emerges on the horizon. Back when the Mir station orbited the Earth, Russian scientists were diligently engaged in tackling the challenge posed by the accumulation of soiled underwear lingering on board for months on end. Their tireless efforts led them to conceive a groundbreaking concept, a system harnessing the power of bacteria to metabolize the cotton and paper undergarments worn by astronauts. Incredibly, they even contemplated the potential utilization of the methane gas emitted as the bacteria consumed the fabric, considering it as a supplementary source of spacecraft propulsion. Not content with solving a singular issue, the Envision system possessed the remarkable capability of managing additional waste generated on the space station. It promised a comprehensive waste disposal solution, enhancing the efficiency and sustainability of life beyond Earth's boundaries. Regrettably, the completion of this groundbreaking system for implementation on Mir eluded the researchers' grasp. They candidly admitted that the pursuit of the ideal bacterial combination might necessitate a decade-long odyssey of scientific exploration. However, as humanity forges ahead, the possibility remains tantalizingly open, a shining beacon of potential for future space dwellers seeking innovative approaches to hygiene and waste management amidst the stars. And there you have it, the four options for dealing with dirty laundry in space, wearing it again, turning it into a shooting star, growing plants with it, or feeding it to bacteria. So, the next time you find yourself complaining about laundry day, just imagine what it would be like floating in space without a washing machine in sight. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating insights into the life on the International Space Station and beyond, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified whenever we release new content, ensuring you don't miss out on the latest discoveries and adventures.